the difference between black American and African. When you go to other countries, they can tell if you're- Story time. So it was my very first trip to Africa. It was the year 2000. I think I was about 20, mm, 20 something. I can't remember. But anyway, um, I'm in uh, the Gambia and I'm with some friends of mine and um, there was an elder that had come by and I think I guess one of my friends knew him and so they greeted each other and started talking and of course he didn't want to be rude so he greeted me as well um, and just started talking to me I don't remember if it was in Fulani or in Mandink I think I was in Senegal I don't think I was in um, Gambia I think I was in Senegal anyway and Senegal and Gambia right next to each other and just remember in Africa most people speak at least four languages it's very rare that you can find a person in Africa that doesn't speak three, four languages. It's very rare because that's just a part of the culture is to speak different languages. So I believe we were in Senegal because I was surprised that he knew English. And Senegal, Senegal is a French speaking, as far as their European language that they speak, it's French. But they speak Wolof, they speak uh, Mandinka or Sorse, um, they speak Fulani they speak uh pull they speak different languages Serkule, etc the point is um setter etc <laughs> okay the point is um he was speaking to me and i did not know what he said and so my friends let him know you know she's african american this man this elder elder elderly man said oh you are welcome to this day I think about that and all of this anti-African hate that I see on this app and on Clubhouse and for so many of my beautiful African-American brothers and sisters y'all we gotta stop <laughs> we are African I don't know who told us to not be proud of that but baby stop just stop it's not true it's just simply utterly not true the best parts of you are your african cultural threads that is the thing that has kept us kept our heads above water kept our resiliency and our tenacity we stand on the shoulders of greatness and we are greatness transplanted here migrated here however we got here we still are african and that's something to be so proud of please stop Hey guys, so it's another Bridging the Gap video, but before this video plays on, I want to very quickly say right here, because I want everybody who's going to come by this video to hear this. If you're a black person that do not consider themselves to be African, or you just don't identify as an African like that, still makes no difference. You are still a brother and a sister, and I love you, but I want to implore you, please do not start fights under this video in the comment section. Because sadly, I have noticed, sadly, videos where I talk about us unifying, coming together, bridging the gap, you know, moving forward in love and unity, the good stuff, right? I still see brothers and sisters in the comment section talking about, no, they are never unifying this and this, that, that, that and that. Please, let's not start that fight in the comment section. If this is something you do not agree with, unity. Which is weird. I don't know why you would not want to agree with unity. You see them in the comment section not only disagreeing, but sometimes it gets so bad that it turns into fights in the comment section. And very, very painfully, you watch brothers and sisters in the comments using terrible words that they are not even supposed to be using for anybody. They use it for themselves. And I'm like, why? why just I, I i never get it so please moving forward let's let's just stop the fights altogether amongst ourselves in the comment section that's not true and i'm gonna explain why and also why me as an african-american have the liberian flag in my bio and why i rep liberia there are some african-americans that say when africans come to the united states such as nigerians congolese ghanaians ethiopians they don't want us to have our own culture and ethnic group. However, when this argument is being made, notice what they say. They say Nigerians. They say Ghanaians. They say Congolese. They say Ethiopian. They don't say Yoruba, Igbo, House of Fulani, Ija, Aroma, Amhara, Tigre. 
You refer to them by nationality, not ethnicity. That's where the dilemma is. African Americans lack of a homeland or nation state. Ethnicity is based on things such as language, culture, ancestry, point of origin, and physical characteristics. Ethnicity is not static or rigid. It's very fluid and ever-changing. We have seen African Americans get accepted and integrated into African ethnic groups of their ancestry. Case in point, this video. Another story that gets me absolutely emotional is the story of an African-American woman who was buried in Cameroon after she died. And it was the traditional rulers of the two ethnic groups to which she descended that did the burial. Now, she didn't descend directly from Cameroon. She may not know a lot about the two cultures that she descended from. But the fact that her ancestors came from there, however far back they may have been, made her part of the family. This is her, y'all. Rest in power. And enjoy your time with the ancestors. That's why I have the Liberian flag in my bio. And that's why I rep Liberia. Because it gives me a sense of a home and a nationality. Especially considering African Americans connection with Liberia. Now nothing is perfect. But they're my problems. And we as African Americans and Liberians can work together to change things. Change the narrative. And make our country something proud of. I'll leave y'all with this quote. I would rather have a country run like hell by Filipinos than a country run like heaven by the Americans because however a bad a Filipino government might be, we can always change it. And we can always change our home anytime. When I came by those two videos, I was very happy. I'm like, these are the kind of videos we need to be making. We need to be promoting love and unity. And we are doing that. And I'm so happy. Um, not to make this video too long and repeating myself and saying things that I've already said before. I am going to be linking down below um, videos with similar topics so you can check them out. So, ending this video on a note of love. Okay? We're going to do a word um, pronunciation challenge <laughs> I already know this is about to be funny okay start now I'm ready for you Shabby used to boss me start okay let me start you gonna repeat after me Mississippi Mississippi bath 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 not bath 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 I got bath this one Disgusting. Disgusting. Congratulations. 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 Generous. Generous. Okay, that was so bad. What's up? What's up? Okay. Cucumber. Cucumber. Uh, cucumber. Oh, daddy, your mouth will cucumber. <laughs> Okay, now my own turn. I have pronounced after me. Pronounce Lolo. Lola. <laughs> Lola. Who called this Lola? Lolo. Lola. Lola. <laughs> okay, next one. I have pronounced this one. Asa. Asa. Okay, pronounce this one. Ifunanya. Say. <laughs> Let me tell you right now. My name. Pronounce it. Pronounce it. Pronounce it. Pronounce it. Pronounce it. Banana. Banana. You're the one pronouncing it wrong. Banana. 